Welcome to the Shotokan Chronicles. In today's video, we will learn about another Shotokan Karate pioneer, Master Hiditaka Nishiyama, 10th Dan. But first, take a few seconds to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to click on the bell so you never miss one of our videos. Master Hiditaka Nishiyama was an internationally recognized Japanese master of the art of Shotokan Karate. He helped to establish the Japan Karate Association and was one of the last surviving students of Master Gishin Funakoshi, the founder of Shotokan Karate. Master Nishiyama was born on October the 10th, 1928, in Tokyo, Japan. His father was a lawyer and a kendo master. During his childhood, karate was mostly unknown in Japan and children were required to train in either judo or kendo in middle school. He started learning kendo in 1933 and judo in 1938. He once said about the beginning of his martial arts training, I began, as is the custom in Japan, on the fifth day of the fifth month at the age of five. I started in kendo. His kendo instructor had a strong and lasting influence on his development in the martial arts. By the time Master Nishiyama reached 14 years of age, he had attained black belt status in judo. In 1943, he was promoted to the rank of first dan in kendo, and would eventually reach third dan in that art. Also in 1943, he began training in Shotokan Karate at the Honbu Dojo headquarters training hall under its founder, Master Gishin Funakoshi. His interest in karate had been sparked by two things, an old book written by a swords master, and Master Nishiyama estimated that the book was written around 1550, and a film, Zuku Sogata Sanshiro, 1945, a film by Akira Kurosawa. He recalled that training in the Hombu Dojo was around 80% kata and 20% kihon, and that Master Funakoshi and his son Sensei Gigo Funakoshi would divide the teaching load evenly between them. Master Nishiyama served in the Imperial Japanese Navy before the end of World War II and was unable to continue his karate training during this brief period. In 1946, he was promoted to the rank of first dan in karate, and in 1948, he was promoted to second dan. With the war over, he was able to begin studying at university. While enrolled at Taiku Shoku University, he became a member of the university's karate team. In 1949, he was named team captain. That same year, he helped to establish the Japan Karate Association, or JKA. He also co-founded the All Japan Collegiate Karate Union, and was elected its first chairman. In 1950, Master Funakoshi promoted him to the rank of third dan. He received a Master of Arts degree in economics from Taiku Shoku University in 1951. That year, he was appointed to the JKA's board of directors. He began working for Shell Oil, but his JKA role became his full-time occupation. He was appointed to take charge of the JKA instructors training program and continued to oversee it until the late 1950s. Recalling notable graduates of the course, he said there were many, but I think Mr. Kanazawa was exceptional, even though he left the JKA. There were many very good people like Mr. Noda, Shira, and Mikami, and many others as well. In 1952, Master Nishiyama began teaching karate to the United States military personnel from the Strategic Air Command, or SAC. The other karate instructors for this program included Master Nakayama and Master Obata. The following year, the United States Air Force General Curtis LeMay invited several instructors, including Master Nishiyama, to tour U.S. air bases on the North American mainland. In 1960, Master Nishiyama published his first book, Karate, The Art of Empty Hand Fighting. This work has been recognized as a seminal textbook on karate. The cover of the 1990 reprint noted that over 300,000 copies had been sold. Now, I'll put a link at the top of the screen and find out exactly where I rated this book 
on my top 20 karate books. In June of 1960, Master Nishiyama was promoted to the rank of 5th Dan. In July of 1961, he moved to the United States of America at the invitation of his students from the SAC and founded the All-American Karate Federation, AAKF. It was around this time that Master Oshima invited him to take charge of his karate students in the U.S. As Master Oshima was planning to return to Japan following the completion of his U.S. university studies. The arrangement did not work out satisfactorily and was to be a source of bitterness between the two men. Four years later, in 1965, Master Nishiyama organized the first United States versus Japan Goodwill Karate Tournament. He wrote a long letter on the state of karate tournaments, published in 1967 by Black Belt Magazine. In that letter, he warned of the dangers of unqualified competitors and officials. In 1968, he organized the first World Invitational Karate Tournament held at the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena. In 1973, he co-founded the Pan-American Karate Union and was elected its first executive director. He became executive director of the International Amateur Karate Federation, IAKF, in 1974, the first IAKF World Karate Championship was held in Los Angeles one year later. The organization would later become the International Traditional Karate Federation, ITKF, in 1985. In 1979, the AAKF became the American Amateur Karate Federation and kept the same acronym. Master Nishiyama was elected as the inaugural president of the new AAKF. Throughout the 1980s, he served in a variety of administrative leadership roles, including President of the JKA International USA, Chairman of the AAKF, and President of the ITKF. He was based in Los Angeles, where he settled with his family, but traveled across the world to teach karate. Master Nishiyama was featured on the cover of the December 1986 issue of Black Belt Magazine. In 1989, he published the traditional Karate Coaches Manual. And I'll see if I can find a link uh, where you can purchase this manual on Amazon and put it in the description. In the early 1990s, Master Nishiyama's refusal to align the ITKF organization with the World Union of Karate Do Organizations, WUKO, caused the International Olympic Committee to suspend its recognition of WUKO as Amateur Karate's international governing body. The ITKF and WUKO had been due to merge and form a unified karate organization, but this did not happen. The WUKO eventually became the World Union of Karate Do Federations in late 2008. In 1999, the United States Senate honored Master Nishiyama by presenting him with the U.S. flag that had flown on October the 10th, his birthday, that year over the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. The flag was awarded in recognition of his contributions to traditional karate at the request of U.S. Senator Slade Gorton. The accompanying letter stated, I would like to thank you for your many years of service to this country. Your efforts in bringing the art of karate to the United States Air Forces has been immeasurable. On behalf of your grateful students and friends, I wish you the best in your many endeavors. In May 2000, Master Nishiyama was honored when the Nishiyama Cup was held in Moscow, the first official karate event conducted in Russia since the end of the Soviet Union. On November the 3rd, 2000, the Emperor of Japan awarded the Order of the Sacred Treasure, 4th Class, gold rays with rosette, to him in a ceremony on the grounds of the Tokyo Imperial Palace. Master Nishiyama was one of only 11 recipients of the award from outside of Japan in that year. During the first traditional Karate World Cup in October 2001, Poland honored him with the Officer's Cross of the Order of Merit of the Republic of Poland. The award was presented by the President of Poland. On November the 1st, 2003, the International San Ten Karate Association, ISKA, awarded him the rank of 10th Dan. 
The ISKA reported that Master Nishiyama at first tried to turn aside the honor, but was moved by the heartfelt affection of the ISKA leadership. Master Hiditaka Nishiyama died on November the 7th, 2008, in Los Angeles, following a long battle with lung cancer. His funeral was held on November the 30th, with over 500 people in attendance. On October the 10th, 2009, the ITKF posthumously awarded the rank of 10th Dan to Master Nishiyama. His daughter, Nami, accepts the honor on his behalf. ITKF Chairman Richard Jorgensen recalled, he always said he never wanted to achieve the level of 10th Dan because he believed to do so and to require the highest rank that meant that his learning and his life would be over. He would never have accepted the rank while he lived. Now, personally, I have never had the opportunity to train with Master Nishiyama. I, however, know many people that have trained with him. From what I hear, he was an amazing man. Now, I personally love his book, Karate, The Art of Empty Hand Fighting. It's one of my all-time favorite books, and I strongly recommend it. I will put a link in the description where you can find it on Amazon. Please visit The Great North Apparel. Use the coupon code SHOTOKAN at checkout to receive 30% off of your order. They have some excellent athletic wear. Also look in the description below for a link to the Shotokan Chronicles shop. Here you'll be able to pick up some cool the Shotokan Chronicles swag. Thanks for watching. Train hard. Check out the following links for more of my videos. See you next time right here on the Shotokan Chronicles.